climate disaster has occurred every day on average over the past 50 years, and this rate is increasing. We've all seen some form of it in our lives. What we don't realize is how climate change impacts girls and women much more than men, and this is because of gender inequality. Here are four ways in which climate and gender inequality are linked. Number one, most of the world's poorest people are women. And when the climate changes, they have to spend more time searching for water, fuel, and growing food. And this leads them into much physical danger. Number two, we know climate change poses threats to global food security. But a little known fact is that women are responsible for 50% of the world's food production, but own less than 10% of the land. And thus climate change's impact on agriculture destabilizes women farmers much more than men. Number three, there's a strong link between gender inequality and resilience. Even in developed countries and educated families, women and girls spend much more time in household and caring activities than fathers and sons. Thus girls and women have less time to spend in learning and training. Gender inequality also results in them earning less and having less power to negotiate in times of crises. Finally, even on the solution side, girls and women are underrepresented in positions of power and decision making. Less than 20% of the technology workforce is made up of women, and that means their perspectives are missing from climate solutions. Educating girls is one of the best investments towards sustainable development and the single most important social and economic factor for climate resilience. However, despite being such a critical part of climate resilience, female perspectives are missing from the innovations that will define our future. It's time to change that by focusing on the intersection of girls' education, climate, and technology. Yes, we need to provide basic education and literacy skills to girls, but we need to be bolder and to empower girls to use powerful technologies such as AI to tackle the climate change issues they face firsthand. Through Technovation, girls around the world are already leading innovation in their communities, helping them recover from climate crises and other shocks like the COVID pandemic. To date, more than 100,000 young women have created over 10,000 apps and AI prototypes, like Immaculate from Kenya, who carries 60 liters of water every day for her family, a task that can take over three hours. She and her team made the Maji Maji app, which connects water sellers with water buyers, and thus allows girls to save valuable time, which they can then spend on their education while staying safer. Or like Unati from India, who worked with her team to create an image recognition model to diagnose diseases for North Indian crops, helping farmers be smarter and better prepared for changes in climate. Technovation provides a powerful model for building climate resilient communities and sustainable development. If you educate girls and women, they become financially more resilient and better leaders of their communities through crises, disasters and disruptions. Like Padma Priya from India, who was introduced to technology through Technovation in 2015. She went on to intern at companies including Google and provide for her family. Now she works at a leading Indian software company, Tata Consultancy Services, and mentors girls to become technology leaders themselves. Educating girls and women is the sixth most effective strategy for reducing global warming. Rooftop solar is number 10, electric vehicles are number 26. Educated women are more empowered managers and stewards of natural resources. They increase the resilience of their communities and they ensure that the teams they work on are developing more innovative and effective solutions. Our planet faces some immense threats today and to be able to overcome these challenges, we need to see problems differently and approach them with a bolder vision. The Technovation model of empowering young women with powerful technologies to tackle real-world problems is working. It's working locally and at the scale of our planet, but we need to think even bigger. There are 900 million teenage girls in the world. If we empowered even 15% of them to become Technovation climate ambassadors and ecopreneurs, they would lead change in their communities, drawing down tens of gigatons of carbon globally through their innovations, starting today. What are we waiting for?